So, you know, uh, beer wasn't always around. Uh, at some point in, in history, we found a way to brew it. Much similar way, we found a way uh, to use natural fermentation to production of protein. Beer fermentation is a process when sugars sourced from the barley are fed to brewer's yeast, which produces alcohol and flavor compounds, making it to beer. Not all fermentations are similar in terms of how to do it in a process. So, for example, in beer fermentation, you can make a perfectly good beer in, at your home in a simple bucket type of fermenter or bioreactor. Here at Solar Foods, we are producing a natural protein by a fermentation process, much similar to producing beer or, or wine, for example. However, unlike beer, we are uh, disconnected from the agriculture. So instead of being reliant on, on barley as, or grapes as the main raw material, we are free from the arable land. Fermentation is a process in which we take this uh, microbe that we have sourced from the nature and provide it uh, suitable growth conditions in the bioreactor. The right conditions means that we have to provide the carbon dioxide for them, which they use actually in a much similar way as plants and trees. In order for the microbe to use the carbon dioxide and hydrogen, it requires also oxygen, basically because it needs to breathe, much like you and me. In terms of food security, our production process provides very safe and consistent way for protein production. Our process is simpler and more environmentally friendly, as we don't have to rely on arable land for the production. How much carbon dioxide our microbe actually uses for its growth? Let's put it this way, that um, in beer you usually have about 5 grams per liter of beer carbon dioxide dissolved in it, and when you open the bottle you can see it start bubbling out. In this bottle it's about uh, a bit less than 2 grams of carbon dioxide, and that would be actually enough to make 1 gram of solene. Now that's food for thought.